exploring more than 2,000 years of Japanese history and culture, there's a lot to soak in. Among the discoveries, modern and ancient, what will be your treasures? Part of the Japanese uh, sense of aesthetics comes through and in, in, even in the streets. Today, like many of the other days that we spent in Japan, there's a big variety of activities that are going to be happening. So what, I, what I'm looking forward to is the variety. Parts of the beauty of this temple is that it's embedded against a mountain of trees and it's with this majestic red pagoda rising out from the middle of it. Kiyomizu Dera is a Buddhist temple and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The name comes from the waterfall within the complex. Drinking the water here, according to local belief, conveys wish-granting powers. We've really enjoyed looking at the uh, people who are coming to this temple. There's lots of Japanese school groups. And then at this temple, we've seen a number of young women dressed in kimonos. And that's always so much fun. At every turn, there's something really beautiful and incredibly photogenic. The garden complex at the Temple of the Golden Pavilion is an example of the classical age of Japanese garden design, with a highly intentional relationship between buildings and their landscape settings. We learned that Kyoto was one of the few large cities in Japan really untouched by bombing in World War II. It has a nice, really a beautiful combination of new buildings and ancient buildings, and I love the contrast between the new and the old. So, we're enjoying Kyoto. The Higashiyama district, along the lower slopes of Kyoto's eastern mountains, is one of the city's best preserved historic regions. <laughs> and on both sides there are many uh, restaurants. Uh -huh. Oh, she's wonderful. She knows so much about Japan and uh, the culture and the history and she's so tolerant of questions and questions and questions. It's the same, same thing inside. Whenever we ask her any kind of question, she'll do her best to answer, and if she's not sure, she'll find out and get right back to us. So she's been very, very gracious. The Shinkansen bullet train system began service in 1964. A half century later, it remains among the fastest trains in the world, traveling at speeds up to 200 miles per hour. Experience this technological marvel as you travel 170 miles from Odawara to Nagoya in just over an hour. This place is called Hekikei. This is really an old house of the samurai. People brought in the uh, komatsuna that they harvested in the farm. And they are going to learn how to make rolled sushi that is called makizushi in Japanese. So today you are going to learn how to make makizushi. Makizushi means the from now. We are enjoying making sushi roll. But uh, before that, I'll show you how to make sushi roll. Hmm? This bamboo mat, this is present for you from oh. owner, Michio-san. Oh. 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 You can bring back your home. Mm -hmm. Sushi means sour tasting, a reflection of its distinctive culinary heritage. Fish was fermented in rice and then eaten only after the rice was discarded. Bottom edge, pour the nori seed over. Very easy. You are done. 
very Please stop. Very Easy for you. Difficult for me. <laughs> now, now we're going to roll it. The opportunities that we have to do the daily life, such as cooking, gives us a chance to uh, take a break from all the intellectual learning and to actually have hands-on and a lot of fun laughing at ourselves, trying yes. to do something that we can't really do very well. This is yeah. the way it's nice and tight. The husband's falling apart. Loose, not oh, No need to point that out. <laughs> speaks for itself. These are the cooked vegetables in the plate. And this brown one is a fried tofu. This 300-year-old house was that of a famous samurai in the region. Samurai warriors included men, women, and children, all trained in the martial arts. The land of the rising sun. What experiences lay ahead for you here on a journey to this ancient island nation? We set off to see temples and shrines and we ended up by having such a wonderful time just interacting with the people. <laughs> Japan is a, a beautiful country filled with very, very polite people. We knew we would enjoy this trip.